In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove duplicate contacts in Xero. Unfortunately, the way Xero is set up, it's very easy to create a new contact. You can do that simply when you're adding an invoice. So if you're adding a bill into Xero and you've got a new contact, you don't need to set it up in advance. You can just go here. Zero alerts you that it is a new contact, which is great, but you might not notice that. And then you continue entering your bill and that new contact will be set up for you. So the downside to that is when you go to your contacts and let's go to all contacts. And we know that we've got a supplier called the computer store. But when I search for a computer, look at this. Not only have I got it set up once, I've actually set it up four times. Now that maybe sounds a bit ridiculous, but it can happen. Probably not by keying it in. Sometimes it can happen without you realising it if you've got bank feed information coming through. So we look at this and say, well, clearly we don't want four suppliers we need to get rid of three of them. So what you need to do is determine which one is the correct name. And I'm going to say that this one in green, this is the right name for my supplier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the other three by ticking the box on the left of them. I'm going to go over to the right and I'm going to choose this merge option. So if we read what it says, it's actually quite clear. We've chosen the ones we don't want. So Xero's tell me three of these contacts will be archived and they'll be merged with the contact that I'm now going to choose. So I know it's the computer store limited, so I'm just going to start typing it. Select the one that I want. Say merge. I need to confirm and job done. Now, if I go back to my dashboard, out of contacts completely, back into contacts, all contacts, search for a computer store and this time now I only have one that's what I need. So that is how you get rid of duplicate contacts in Xero.